A closer look at major improvements to the state pier in New London. It's the site for Connecticut's first wind power generation project. Today, in fact, our chief political reporter Susan Raff got to see how this multi-million dollar facility is changing the waterfront. We've been hearing about the State Pier project. Now we're getting a look at what all this construction is about. The Thames River will be the new home for Connecticut's offshore wind power. All of this dirt that you see here was once underwater not that long ago. It's about seven acres. The goal of the State Pier is to provide wind power, but it will also make New London a much more productive port. So we took all that material from that hill and brought brought it in and filled this whole area. Look, it's about wind, it's about the environment, it's about a new economy going forward. But getting to this point hasn't been easy. There have been delays. We had to do some pretty significant modifications to the plan because it didn't effectively uh, coordinate with our neighbors. Costs have also been rising. Starting at 93 million, now it's 235. And back in February, we learned the FBI was looking into the State Pier project, overseen by Costas Diamantis, a top state official who was fired. We have absolutely nothing to do with the FBI investigation. They have made no requests to us. But right now, the excitement is on the transformation of the waterfront, 400 construction jobs and the need for more housing. The housing is booming right now. We can't build housing fast enough right now. The pier is expected to be finished in a year, and then the wind turbines will start arriving to create 30% of the state's renewable energy. In New London, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.